Hello, and welcome to another edition of Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Henkel, a Cheeky Scientist. And this week's question comes from Sub Cherie. And the question is, what is a J-1 versus an H-1B-1 visa? And how should international PhDs execute a job search? It's a great question and a question we get a lot, or it's within a field of questions we get a lot uh, about visa issues, uh, working in the, VA, uh, in the U.S. and other countries, uh, and how you should approach a job search as an international PhD. Uh, first, a, a J-1 visa, it's the visa you're likely on if you got your PhD and you stayed in academia to work um, as a postdoc. An H-1B-1 visa is likely the visa that you're on if you've transitioned out of academia and into your first uh, industry job. Uh, so in terms of the visas, the visa types, the visa rankings, uh, on our blog on cheekyscientist.com backslash blog, we have uh, some in-depth articles on this topic. Uh, here we want to focus on what you need to do as an international PhD student to secure a job in industry. And uh, if you're hoping to work in another country and you have to go through uh, different visa issues. It is going to be a bit harder to get a job, but you can do it. The key is to arm yourself with the information that you need um, to get hired. Uh, don't expect your employer to, to have this information for you. Many employers will have no idea how to sponsor a national student. They won't understand the immig immigration laws. Uh, they won't know uh, what paperwork they need to fill out. They won't know what to do. So you should assume that whatever company you're applying to has no idea how to sponsor you as an international student, which means that you need to do what you do best as a PhD and do your research. Learn about uh, the country that you want to work in, learn about their, their laws, their immigration uh, process as thoroughly as possible, and be able to explain this process very simply to other people, especially employers, so that when you sit down with the hiring manager and the question comes up about your, your visa status or the fact that you're an international PhD and you need to be sponsored, you're able to ask, uh, answer questions and make the process seem as simple as possible. In fact, you want to make it seem like you can take on a large part of the process yourself. Um, the better you understand the process, the, the better you're, able, you're going to be able to help a company sponsor you. All right? So you have to see it as your responsibility to make this happen. Don't expect other companies, especially small, medium-sized companies, um, you might be the very first international PhD that they're hiring. You can get a job. The key is to first you know, network, get a referral, uh, make the company, the hiring managers, everybody in the department uh, you know, fall in love with you, so to speak, really want you to work for them. Um, push the, the topic of you being an international PhD um, off as long as possible. Um, if they ask, of course, answer truthfully. Uh, but when it does come up, make sure that they're already invested in you and make sure you understand the immigration process, again, as well as possible so you can explain it simply and that you can help them, walk them through the sponsorship process, uh, whatever it might be for them in, in the country you want to work in. All right, so, so as, an immigration, uh, as an international PhD, it's, it's critical that you do this and this will uh, give you the best chances of getting hired and getting sponsored uh, in your country of choice at your company of choice. So until next time, remember your value as a PhD and continue thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.